What's up, YouTube? XX Ghost Tricks XX coming back at you for another commentary. Except I'm gonna do something a little bit different for you guys this time. Someone asked me a couple days ago to make a render settings video, so I'm going to put up a render settings video. But I'm also gonna add a little extra. I'm gonna show you what I do with the color curves if I'm just doing like a commentary or something. But uh, I'll show you what you can can do to it if you want to make videos for or clips for montages and stuff. It's really cool. So anyway, let's get into it. I got this little clip right here. It's, uh, you know, I got a nice little multi-kill with the PP90. And so what I do is here, you bring up the project properties. You click that guy right there. And you get this thing. So it's already set up for what I want. But I usually have it set up for HD, B, 720, 30p. It's a regular, it's a, it's a regular setting for... Vegas and there's a few things that I've changed up on it so this is the same with you keep at 1280 720 for the height you can put the 720 up a little bit like you can put 1080 or whatever you want to do but the thing is if you're putting videos on YouTube you don't really have to go much higher than 720 because it's not gonna make that much of a difference and people don't really normally go all the way to the top so yeah frame rate you want to keep it at 29.70 because you don't it, you record it in a higher frame rate, but you don't need it in a higher frame rate when you put it online. Otherwise, it's going to mess it all up. Now, unless you have 3D anything in it, just keep that off. Field order, you want to keep it on none. And pixel, I I keep it on just square. Um, some people change it up with like what they, what they do, but I just keep it there because it's like a good regular setting. Now I put the full resolution rendering quality on best, of course. Um, I put the interlace method none because you don't really need it, and this usually is already checked when you go into it. But I would uncheck it. That's what I do. So that's it for video. Then you go to audio, uh, stereo, unless you really, really, really want to do 5.1 surround sound, but I doubt you need it. I put the sample rate hertz all the way up to 48,000. Bit depth I put at 16, you can put it at 8, but you get a better sound quality at 16, I mean, that just makes sense. And once again, render and stretch quality I put at best, and yeah. Now these things, I don't really mess with these, I don't care too much. Summary, if you want to make your own, you can put a title, blah 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 blah, all that stuff, and then folders. So that's what you do, hit apply, and then you hit ok, and now you're going to have, it's going to render correctly. So. But before we do that, I want to show you some color curve moves that, I know, that I've picked up. So I'm going to find a little place where I can see a lot. So here I can see there's a lot going on. You can see the background. It's all nice. So I'm going to click on that. I'm going to click on my color curves. Right, you're going to get this thing. And so basically this is like controlling the light and the dark and what color it is. So usually what I start out doing, if I'm doing just a commentary, I'm just going to do this. I raise this guy up. And you can see in the video that it gets brighter, and what that does is it raises all the light colors so that they really stick out. And then you bring this guy down, and it raises, it lowers, or I guess raises, I'm not sure. It makes all the darks darker, so everything just looks a lot better, it looks a lot crisper, as you can already see. It's really, everything's like, even these buildings, or just everything's really nice. So if you want to mess with it, you can change the color. I, I really like doing a blue tint sometimes, but since this is like a really like orangey already map, I'm going to do a nice little red tint. So I'm going to take that green and I'm going to lower it, right? See, you can already see it lowering. I'm going to lower it. No, I'm going to lower it to about halfway, like right there. And then I'm also going to get the blue because you if you want the red to be higher, you got to lower both of the other ones. I'm going to lower that one. I'm going to lower that one a little. I'm going to do it about the same. Now you have this nice little red tint. You can X out of that, and you're all ready to go. So, I mean, you can do blue or anything, and there's all these different things you can do. If you just go in there, and you can double-click on the line to make, like, checkpoints in the line, I guess, and then you can mess with different sides, and that's also how you do really interesting effects and stuff like that. So, yeah, that's it. I'm going to make this movie, this little clip, and I'm going to put it right at the end. Thanks. This has been XX Ghost Tricks. Peace out. I must have dropped my Predator Missile, I just dropped my Attack Helicopter, and then my Reaper's going to be on. Friendly Hind inbound. They dropped the fuck.